welcome to First Name Official. Hello, lovely viewers. You are welcome to the first edition of Let's Talk About Health right here. My name is Empress Nana Jordi and I am your host. On this program, we talk about health. I often say that how often do you go to the hospital to do certain checkups, such as your BP check, your RBS, your temperature, and all those stuff. Huh? How often do you go there to do all these things? Well, I don't know how much you go to the hospital, but this program is here to educate you on certain medical conditions in the medical world. And I know that at the end of the day, you're going to learn a whole lot here. Yeah, you're going to learn a whole lot that you will use to live your life in order to prevent yourself from getting certain disease condition. Today being the first edition of Let's Talk About Health, we are going to talk about prostate cancer. Yeah, I know you, you're happy, especially the men out there. I know you guys are very happy that I'm going to talk about prostate cancer because I know it's one of the disease conditions that has been your headache so far in this world. And it's one of the leading mortality diseases in the world so far. So I want us to talk about prostate cancer. I know that you have heard prostate cancer, but so many people don't know what that disease is, the meaning, the causes, the symptoms, the prevention. They don't know what brings about prostate cancer. That is why I am here to talk about prostate cancer. I have done some petty petty research and I want us to share. Yeah, you know what I mean. I want us to share so that you will learn something. So, prostate is a gland that is usually found in men. It is a gland that helps you, you know, bring out semen and other fluids during ejaculation. That's during sexual intercourse. When a guy is able to reach ejaculation, prostate is one of the organs that bring out the semen and other fluids from the man. So when there is cancer, mm -hmm. there are these cells in the prostate and when there is cancer, those cells begin to grow abnormally. They are supposed to grow at a certain level, but when there is cancer, they these cells begin to grow abnormally, causing the prostate to enlarge. Yeah, causing it to what? Enlarge. Though when a man is aging, the prostate begins to become a bit bigger. But when there is cancer, this prostate begins to grow abnormally from a normal range. Let's say the prostate is like a small something. Let me say a small nut. But when there is cancer, it begins to become bigger than the nut. Well, many other things that causes the prostate cancer. And I would like her to look at the causes here. Studies say that cancer in general is something that we don't know what brings about cancer here yeah, we don't know the causes that um the particular cause of cancer but studies say that there are certain risk factors that when one put or engage him or herself in it it can lead to some of these cancer including prostate cancer so without wasting my time let's look at some of the causes of the prostate cancer one are you ready one is not eating properly having a very bad eating lifestyle yeah it's one of the things that causes prostate cancer. I usually say that when you are there as a human being, you ought to eat properly. And there are some eating habits that I call the negative eating lifestyle. Sometimes you go to the, uh, let's say the restaurant, some people in their houses, you go and you meet them. You will see them eating maybe roasted chicken at the same time taking beer or let's say a very hot alcohol with the roasted chicken or maybe the toasted chicken i call all those things negative eating lifestyle so when you are somebody who usually engage in negative eating lifestyle your chances of getting prostate cancer is very high secondly when you don't do exercise if you're somebody who don't do any exercise your chances of getting prostate cancer is very high because exercise is very good and it usually prevents us from you know getting so many disease conditions let's say thirdly living a sedentary lifestyle there are some people in this world they eat they sleep they eat they sleep they don't go anywhere always they're at one place when you are somebody who lives that kind of lifestyle we call it sedentary lifestyle and your chances of getting prostate cancer as such a person is very high i hope you are learning something here i'm sure you're learning something another one is eating fatty foods there are so many people out there that enjoy eating so many many fatty foods that is really not good eating fatty foods predispose you to getting prostate cancer so if you are somebody who likes so many oily food your chances of getting prostate cancer is very high and obesity yeah definitely if you're somebody who 
is always eating fatty food it is going to make you obey they are gonna be obeyed so when you're somebody who is like having a weight more than the ideal weight overweight let me say that overweight in the medical world we call this obesity so if you're somebody who is obeyed your chances of getting prostate cancer is very high smoking if you're somebody who smokes you are somebody who smokes weed cigarette whatever name it the narcotic drugs if you're somebody who is engaged in those stuff your chances of getting prostate cancer is very high another cause is having family history yeah if your family in your family you um you have relatives who are always getting this prostate cancer your chances of having prostate cancer is very high yeah if your family um your guys in the the male in the family are always getting prostate cancer your chances of getting prostate cancer is very high another thing is having a family history of breast cancer yeah breast cancer if your family you have a history of breast cancer your chances of having prostate cancer is very high drinking alcohol Oh yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Drinking alcohol is one of the risk factors that can lead to prostate cancer. If you're somebody who is always drinking, drinking, drinking alcohol, very, very high doses of alcohol and all those stuff, your chances of having prostate cancer is very, very, very high. I hope you've learned something today. Well, I would like to end here for the first edition and I will come later on with the symptoms and the prevention of prostate cancer. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel, like the page, subscribe so that when I bring the prevention and the symptoms, you're going to get a notification and you will come and learn something. Join me, Saint Saint Nursery, right here. Have a nice day.